Welcome back guys. In this video, we will continue from where we left off. In the previous video, I showed you how to use React inside a Laravel application. We had set up our React app using the Laravel's preset and we saw how the app.js changed from some of the view based component lines to React.js. Okay. And we also studied the example.js which comes along with that preset and we saw how to use a class based component for our own specific use case. Now today inside our stories, okay, this is my story listing and when I go inside a story, I want the ability to have a form which allows me to add a comment. So as a user, when I'm looking at the story, I can add comments and I also I can see the list of comments which have been already added and when I add a new comment it should be displayed there as well right so pretty standard requirement nothing too complicated and we will first see how do we architect the component structure okay so whenever we do these kind of activities like there's a form there is a listing and all those things a very common pattern is to have a wrapper component Okay, let's say comment group. Okay, this is our wrapper component. This is responsible for getting all the data. Okay, it can be through props, through an Ajax call, which we make through Axios, or maybe, you know, if you are later on implementing stores, um, then you, know, you can do that. But the idea is that the data will be in the wrapper component and there will be individual smaller components which are dumb components which will get the data and they will react based on that data and render themselves. So we will have one inner component or, ch or child component inside the comment group which we can say comment list. Okay, We can even further go down as comment list will render comment as a component and we will also have a comment add component okay so these are some of the components which we will be using okay some of them will be class based and someone some of them will be functional based so we'll see how the requirement goes okay so to start with inside our components so inside resources js components i'll add a folder and the folder name will be comments and inside that we'll have comment group.js okay this is our first um, wrapper component inside react we can steal a lot of the code from the existing code base okay to save time so we will import react component react dom we'll close the class the class name is comment group it should have a render function which will return some html the render function should have only one parent wrapper okay i cannot have two divs at this level like this okay it will already show me a warning that it can have only one parent element so this is not possible i can have as many divs inside this there's no problem but there should be only one parent element so we will say another let's keep it like this and see how things go so i have a co comments comment group example is here now we need to export it so export default the name of the component okay this is the div where we will like our component to render itself so we will say component wrapper okay so let's iterate again we created a component we imported react we import uh, took the component from inside that we also have react dom there's a class based component i have a render method which returns a div and inside that i have written comments i'm exporting as comment group then i'm checking whether i have this div inside my dom or not if i do then using react dom i am rendering comment group inside this element okay which will mean that when I go inside story view, okay, I have already added this comments wrapper. Okay, it's comment 
comments wrapper right so i'll change this comments wrapper and if this is done we will also need to add the component inside our app.js inside resources okay so we'll need to load that component otherwise um, it will not be available it's not example it's inside comments comment group now we should see this which means the build is successful let's come over here and we see comments which means this is working so now we'll have two more components one is comment add.js and comment list.js okay comment list we can pretty much steal a lot of these things comment list rather this is a class based component i'm exporting it as comment list however i don't need react dom okay because i am not going to um, add this or render this uh, component inside the dom directly rather i'll have react load this component using a you know as a child component so i don't need react dom in that and let's just say the comment add is a functional component okay so we will do import react from react okay it is a functional component so function uh, comment add pass the props it will directly return some markup so let's just say this is uh, comment add form we need to export it export default comment add okay let's save this i don't want to save we'll close it i've saved all the files and now inside comment group i'll need to import them so import comment add from comment add okay it's on the same level and import comment list from comment list and then let's just do comment list render this component and render this component comment list has nothing so we will write rendering comment list and hit save and we are getting this which means so far we are on track okay now we will first work on the comment add form okay this is our functional component and then we will move ahead so first let me um, create or rather copy paste some markup which i have already written for this form so that we don't waste too much time okay so i have added this um markup it's typical bootstrap nothing too fancy this is on the same level no okay this is con this will continue to be our parent element and inside that we have the rest of the form if we refresh we get this okay buttons will not do anything right now however what we can do is we need to find a way for this component to tell comment group that this button is clicked okay the con comment button is clicked and we need to some in some way send the data okay so the first thing which we will do is pass a function from the parent component which is our comment group okay through here we will pass a function to comment add so let's write a function handle comment submit okay and for now we will console.log this and we can send this as a prop in here which will mean inside this
I will have this as a this dot props dot handle server. Okay, let me quickly tell you what is happening. So comment add is the you know name of the component which we are rendering. To that we are sending a prop. Okay, this prop is equal to this dot handle submit which is a function so we can send a function as a prop to the child component from the parent component okay now what will happen is on click of the button we will get the event and we can do handle comment submit mm. I don't exactly remember whether I need to do this or what. Okay, let's see. So first things first, I will use the destructuring method. So what I'm saying is I need the handle submit comment from this dot props because we are getting this comment as a prop which is being sent from here. And on click, I will get this. So let's see if this works. I I'm a little confused about the syntax. I still do. Um, okay, it doesn't work. Say so props undefined comment add render with hooks, which is strange. Try the function thingy. So if we do this and hit refresh, it's still um, it's the problem occurred in comment add created by this consider adding an error boundary to a tree that is strange hmm okay let's see uh, this is fine oh okay I did this mistake again now inside a functional component the props are directly available I did a this dot because that's typical of a class based component I think now this should work let's see okay this is working and right so we get this console which is inside the parent component right console.log handle comment submit which means now i can even pass something asdf and if i log it here sorry why don't we do this um data and send this so okay universal bg state tabs okay this is for my grammarly i think my internet is not working and that's why it's creating a problem just leave it at that but you get the point right we are able to send the data even from inside our child component to the parent component so now what we will do is we will have a value on on change okay we will have a constant call on let comment equals empty okay and on change as we have done in our first video we'll get the event so we'll do comment equals the uh, event dot target dot value okay and why don't we pass the comment itself hit refresh let's just see yes comment is going to parent sorry about the grammarly consoles but can't help it so you can see that we are getting the data to our parent component okay so this is interesting we are able to pass a function from you know the parent to the child component okay and then we are getting back the data to the parent component so we okay 
uh, can quickly let me see uh, composer.json we have okay we don't have passport yet so that is going to be a problem however we can just do an axios call axios dot sorry import axios from axios okay and axios dot post let's just say we have a constant post data equals an object where we have comment as data okay we have we will be sending the call to api slash comment dash save we'll send the post data okay and then when we get the response we can do something with the response for now we will just do a console log on the response and now that we have created a url why don't we create that post route which is comment save okay for now we will define a closure we should get the request dollar request why don't we for now just send the request as it is okay so hit refresh so we get a response right we get a response which is interesting we can then do one thing um okay it's not inside a controller so it can be a problem pa make controller so i'll use php artisan make controller comment controller okay i have comment controller inside that i have create request dollar request and return okay i can do a validation so post data equals dollar this validate dollar request let me write down some rules i'll have comment as required okay return dollar post data i'm doing i'm going a little fast but i will explain you what is happening just give me a moment and inside this comment controller class let's create right okay so we have created a new controller using the php artisan make controller command okay and then we wrote a function which is create it does a validation first so because this is a controller we can do this validate we pass the request and we um, send this set of rules so we have seen this in our previous episodes but a quick recap this we are doing a validation if the validation fails we will get a 422 ajax status code and if we pass the validation then we will get the same data which we are sending okay so we said that we have a post route okay however right now we don't have an authentication i haven't installed passport and unfortunately my internet is not working but so we have a url called comment slash save inside the api.php file so because we are creating a route inside api.php file it will automatically have that prefix so our axios call is going to api slash comment slash save we are sending the post data in post data we have comment as a key and we are sending the data when we get the response we are doing a console.log which means now if i hit refresh save i'm getting a 422 which means it's a validation error if we go inside that network request and see it has errors it says comment the comment field is required very well i'll post something clear this clear this save and we get a response which says comment post something so from inside our react application your react component we are able to send data inside our laravel controller 
so the basic communication is done right and we are also able to create a functional component which is sending the text which the user has typed to the parent component I think uh, this is quite a lot for this first video on the basics of uh, you know, the components so uh, you can see we have set up our architecture in a way that we have three components there's the group there's the add form there's the listing however you know, these will still need to get the data we have the group component which is passing a function as a property okay the child function is taking that property and it is triggering an event or sorry it's uh, calling that function sending it data when you know we are uh, performing a button click so we are able to do those interactions as well and in the next video we will see how we can use something which is very new to react which is the state hooks so we can use some bit of state inside our functional component as well which was previously not available previously we used to convert it into a class based component if we need a if we need a state but we can do it right now and so we will use that to complete our comment add dot js or rather the com comment add form and once that thing is being added we can also then look at how to use the comment list component to list individual comments so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel